Hello friends and welcome back. In this video we're going to be creating a Christmas card with glitter. It's going to be a reindeer in a style that is not typical for this channel. It's more fun and more like char character style. But I've decided to try this and just see if you guys like it. It's easy. I have the sketch in the description below. You can download that and proceed painting on that sketch. I have used masking fluid here to mask the shirt, the nose, and some of the hairs around the head, as you can see. But you don't have to do that. You can skip this step and and just work around it. I just found it easier to not worry about it at this stage. And I'm trying this finger art with the brown um, that ended up staining the paper <laughs> and I'm trying to correct it now with some water and my uh, silver brush um, you know I included this into the video because I wanted to show you that I try different things and most of the times I don't have a precise plan when I start painting and that's what watercolor does it surprises you and it's a process of learning it is for me and um, it is for any artist at a different level of course but um, it's good to allow yourself to experiment and not be afraid of the result just try again and you know learn from learn from your past um, painting I also added some masking fluid uh, around the ornaments. There is one, one spot of light where the light hits those spheres. You can leave that to, towards the end and, and just add gouache or, or not. You just wipe it with your brush to have that highlight. But I found it a lot easier to not worry about it and just add masking fluid. I'm adding some dots of Scarlet Lake here and there. That is going to be the star of this card. It's going to be very Christmassy and very poppy. I don't want anything else to be vibrant. I just want that red to, to show off. And I'm taking the masking fluid off and, and adding that Scarlet Lake in various areas. That is the first layer and I'm trying to do it pretty diluted and then I'm adding some shading that it's curved so it's going to take the shape of my object adding some ultramarine deep um, that I'm previously combining with Scarlet Lake I'm not putting it directly on the paper because that would give me just a too dark um, shade and that's not going to look natural For some ornaments, I'm using a combination between the sepia and um, lemon yellow. You can also use yellow ochre here. Most of you maybe ask me why didn't I go with yellow ochre. It's because I don't have the tube. And, and I refuse to go to the store every time I need a tube. I kind of learned to mix what I have and get a pretty approximate color. Especially when it's about Christmas cards and it's more creative and and more relaxed. It's not like a commission painting that has to turn out in a very specific way. Uh, so uh, I'm trying to trying to mix what I have and and be pretty close. Now you'll see I'm uh, taking a masking fluid off some other areas as well and. For that shirt, I'm adding the first layer and um, just carefully go uh, and follow the contour. See, in this case, that was not um, necessary for me to put that masking fluid there. Um, I find it so much easier, especially if you have kids that are working with you on this project then they don't have to worry too much. The less things you got to focus on when you are at the beginning, the better. I remember when I was at the beginning, I was trying to 
uh, paint this complicated scene. Sometimes it was um, an urban landscape and that's the most difficult. I find that one building it's okay but if it's a like an urban scene that uh, there's a lot of elements that are going around there in the scene and I didn't know where to start with because there were so many elements. I was focusing on each one and the details of each one and the color and the hue of each one and, and I got overwhelmed and I realized no I don't have to focus on everything so I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just I'm just taking the, the essentials and and trying to make those essentials as best as I can and then work from there. You don't have to copy the exact colors either. Just use what you have in your palette. Just make sure you're not going to have a lot of muddy colors. And if you will, just make sure you have at least one that's very vibrant. That's going to save your painting. I'm using that very dark Payan's Gray now with, in combination with the Ultramarine Deep to make the, the present more like a focal element. You'll see how much it comes out just by, by adding more contrast around it. I'm also making sure I'm wiping those edges. I'm using um, Stratmore paper and this one doesn't absorb the color in the water as much as Arches does. And um, I have to work a little bit different a little faster and um, also I can't do a very controlled wet on wet it will have to be because the water sits in a puddle on top of the surface of the paper and if I introduce some color it will just sit there and if it's too late then the paper is it has no ability to absorb any color so it will just look like it's dry on like a dry technique It is possible to work on any kind of paper and I wanted to show you that with uh, these past two videos. Depending on the kind of painting you're going to create, you can um, get away with a very um, affordable paper. Now you'll see I'm adding some details with a um, double zero brush. I love this one because it allows me to go so fine and detailed. I have two of these exact ones that my mom gave me. So, yeah, I'm using them very often. Thank you, mom. <laughs> she gave me these uh, brushes when I was back in Romania and I was filming with my iPhone. I didn't have a lot of time, so I try to post once a month back then. I'm not sure I was able to do every single month, but I tried. And, uh, yeah, I kept these brushes mm, they work just like at the beginning now I added some glitter on that coat on the ornaments as you can see and uh, you can add any shape of glitter here now I'm after I'm done painting this I'm taking I'm taking it on a piece of paper that is pretty thick it's a 65 pound it's a eight and a half by 11 and I'm gonna cut to create my card and um, I know I've shown you in uh, previous videos how to create the painting but this is the first time when I'm actually creating the card and um, I'm just measuring it bending it in half and and rounding those corners that seems to be pretty popular this year the same with my painting and I'm gonna make it a little bit offset And I'm using these glue dots, not the, the double-sided tape. I don't have a lot of that, even though that's a lot better um, because you can take it off and just frame it very easy. But um, these dots are pretty good as well. They're going to get yellow at some point if they stay there for too long. But if you take them away in like a week, if you take them off, then you should be good. So this is the final card. I hope you guys like it and... Um, 
let me know in the comments below what uh, other cards would you like to, to make with me. Thank you and happy painting!